Echo Borosaur? Echo Wannawe! Hey, hey guys, welcome, welcome back to the channel. It's, uh, it's Kai. Welcome back to Touched by Kai. Today we're making the Sims logo. That's, that's what that was. Echo Waddis, Echo Ween. Yeah, it sounds like Sims speech, right? I think so. I think I did a pretty good job. Don't judge me in the comments. Hey guys, welcome back to Touched by Kai. I'm Kai, and today we're back in Blender once again. Um, and today we're gonna be making, uh, the, you know, the Sims logo. So it's, it's actually really easy. I came up with this. Um, it, it, there's multiple different ways to do this, but this is a really, really simple way to do this. Um, and I think this is pretty cool. So, we're gonna take Default Cube. Yes, the Default Cube is getting some work today. He's actually getting some exercise. I can't believe it. It's been months. So, we're gonna go ahead and go to the uh, Modifiers tab here. And we're gonna go ahead and hit Add Modifier. We're gonna add in a Bevel Modifier. You're like, what the heck is going on here? Now, just believe me, little Jimmy. Just stay, just stay with me. Just stay here, okay? So, we're gonna go ahead and change the amount until it goes all the way up like that. So you're gonna see, it's actually gonna come to this weird little like diamond pyramid -y thingy. So this is what we need right here. So we're gonna just put it up until it does that. Anything past, I think it is like one. I think, yeah, anything past one does that. But I'm just gonna do like a little bit higher just cause, why not? All right, and we're gonna go ahead and hit this little drop down arrow and then hit apply. Now what this is gonna do is now when we hit tab, we now have these vertices. The issue is that there's double vertices right here on all these edges because we mushed like it together, like in, we mushed it down. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna double tap A to select everything. We're gonna go ahead and right click this and then we're gonna uh, go down to da -da 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 -da, merge vertices by distance. And now you can see if I select one of these and hit G to move this, it's one vertice and it's no longer two vertices. So that's what we need to do. Now, uh, while we're still in edit mode, I'm gonna go ahead and hit, hit A again to select everything and then hit S and then Z to scale it on the Z axis. And now you can see we have that classic Sims kind of whatever logo you wanna call this diamond thing. Um, and now it looks good. So we hit tab to go back out of edit mode and now we're, we're done, we're literally done. We have to go to the material tab hit base color, change this to a nice green, something like that, and then change the specular all the way up and the roughness almost all the way down. Uh, maybe about like 0.3-ish. Um, yeah, now if you go to render viewport shading, you can see this is what it looks like. It might be a little bit too green, yeah. And I'm gonna go ahead and change the background color to a nice lighter gray like that. Hit zero, go into the camera's view, Grab this, double tap R to rotate it around. Just use R and Y and R and Z and whatnot to rotate this around. Um, we're gonna turn specular tint all the way up as well. Don't forget that, that's very important um, in the materials. S to scale it, and R to rotate and whatnot. I'm just gonna hit Shift D to duplicate these and then just move them around to a couple different locations so we have a few of these bad boys just around the scene here. And as you can see, We've made the Sims logo, and it was that easy. It's literally that easy, and it's just the coolest thing because um, it looks really good. Like, it looks really good. It looks really, really good. So we're going to go ahead and just move this uh, lamp by hitting G and pull that up. Maybe put that on like 2,000, and then we're going to go ahead and just hit Shift D, duplicate this lamp, and then just move it around by hitting G. And then just clicking around, I kind of want to light back behind them as well. Maybe, maybe like there, I suppose. And then we'll turn, turn the power of this one down a little bit, because kind of bright. And then we'll go ahead and make this one like a yellowish color, maybe. Yeah, something like that. And we'll maybe make this one yellowish too. Yeah, but that's it for our uh, Sims logo tutorial. It's absolutely crazy how, how well this works. I'm actually going to flip these and pull this one down. Um... Or, you know, I might as well just get rid of this one altogether, to be honest with you. Maybe we'll just put it, like, right here. Yeah, all right, cool. So, that's it for today's tutorial. Hope you, ladies and gentlemen, enjoyed it. This is absolutely awesome. I'm turning Shadow off of that one. Um, absolutely awesome. Really, really easy, simple, cool way to recreate the Sims logo in Blender. Really, like, takes five seconds. But, yeah, I'll see you, ladies and gentlemen, in the next one. But, until then, bye-bye.